In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to mix your unscented aroma beads with your fragrance oil into your mason jar. Let's get started. I have already unscrewed the cap to my mason jar and I have sat it down on my scale. As you can see, the scale is off, so that way when we turn it on, it's going to read at zero as if the mason jar is not on there. This helps us get an accurate reading. So first, we're going to go ahead and pour in our unscented aroma beads. This bag is from, of course, the Freshy Junkie. And the current beads that we have right now at the making of this video are round premium aroma beads. These beads can hold up to 30% of their weight. So what that means for you is you can mix up to an eight to two ratio. For this video, we'll be doing an eight to one. So we'll begin by pouring in our aroma beads and watching the scale. Okay, as you can see, this bag was exactly one pound. So if we're going to be doing an eight to one ratio, that means eight ounces of aroma beads to one ounce of fragrance oil. Since we have one pound of beads, we'll do two ounces of fragrance oil. What I recommend at this point is to go ahead and clear out your scale by clearing out your scale, um, this way you don't have to try to do the math. You can just watch for exactly two ounces. So let's get to pouring. All right, we've got one pound of aroma beads, two ounces of oil. Now what we'll do is we will put our lid back on our mason jar, make sure we've got it on nice and tight, and then we'll get to shaking. All right, when you shake your mason jar, you wanna make sure to shake it and shake it and shake it to coat all of the beads. As you can see, they're definitely wet now because they're sticking to the side of the mason jar. Shake real good, make sure they're all mixed up, and then we will set that to the side. Um, in the meantime, I do recommend that you get your mason jar and shake it at least twice a day just to give it some airflow, keep the beads um, moving about in the jar and this will definitely speed up your drying time. All right guys, I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, feel free to definitely reach out to us.